What's out there? Hello fellow fishers and welcome to the channel. It's me David, Fishing Southern Maryland, bringing you another episode. Playing a little hooky today. People my age may still say that. I don't know if people say it now. I think more people just say that they're cutting class. Unfortunately, I've got some students who like to do that. Anyway, today is Wednesday. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I took a day off just so I could come over to the Fredericksburg area and see if I can catch some fish. Technically, if we go according to my fishing exploits of the last six or seven years, I've never caught a fish in the state of Virginia. I grew up on the eastern shore of Maryland, went fishing with my grandfather down in the inland bays of around Shingatig, caught lots of flounder, various things, but still I don't consider it that I've caught a fish in the state of Virginia because my recent reintroduction to fishing. So today's goal is to catch a fish in the state of Virginia and I've come to what is called Ruffin's Pond. I drove into a little community, found out that the kayak launch or the boat launch there was for community members only, so I drove out. I found a spot right along Route 2 where there's a little bridge going over. I can see that people fish there all the time because of the amount of litter, but I safely got the kayak on the water and now it's time to see if I can catch a fish. Hopefully we can do so. I'm gonna cast around the edge. There's a whirl from a turtle right there. We've got signs of life. Now we just gotta get something on the other end of the line. We got a little sexy shad on a one 32nd ounce jig. We'll cast that over there. Give it a little pop every once in a while as we bring it back to the boat. Come on, where are the fish? There we go. We finally got something. It took a while. Oh, is it gonna be a bluegill? Yeah, I switched to a Christmas tree grub and there we go, first fish in the state of Virginia is the ever popular bluegill. Plop, 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 right back in. Now let's see if we get something different. Took a little while. That was a bite right there. Put it back over there. Okay, so I finally caught my first fish, but do you hear that? There's a small waterfall right on the other side of this little clump. And as I look, there's an area up there. I bet you there's a higher level of water back there and it's coming in down here. Let's paddle around there and see if we can see. We 
can't get back this way. Let's go the other way. So I beached the kayak because I couldn't get around that one side, but I was right. There's a little waterfall that goes up probably 8, 12 feet and there's water coming down from it. So obviously the lake is split into two parts and the water's flowing down here. That's really pretty. So I wonder if the people who live in the community on the other side of this little pond even know this little waterfall is here. Again, not the biggest, but it's pretty. The things you can see when you're actually out fishing. I'm telling you, you gotta get outdoors. Okay, that looks like it's a little bitter. Look, might, might be a large mouth. All right, there we go. Yeah, well, hand was on the leader. So that counts, that's a large mouth. Would have liked to have measured him, get a picture of him, but hey, it happens. Didn't bring a net with me, my fault. If you know me at all, or if you've watched previous videos, I'm hoping you know that I'm a pretty positive person. With all the aspects of my life, I try to keep a positive attitude probably mostly due to my faith and just the way I was raised. I took a day off of work to come to this spot specifically. I wanted to be able to catch my first, and I'll put that in air quotes, fish in the state of Virginia. I got that done. Caught a small bluegill. Caught another bluegill, didn't have the camera on at the time. Lost a bass at the boat. And that's really pretty much the good bites that I've had the entire time. Trying to find the positive in today. I saw an eagle, saw some osprey, some herons. I actually saw a fox crawling along one of the shorelines. Found a waterfall that people who live here might not even know is here. I try to stay positive and hopefully you do as well. Let me know in the comments and until next time, Tight lines.